Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mama T. Today we're going to do salmon cakes. Salmon cakes are very much like my codfish cakes that you're seeing in an earlier episode. Today I'm using um, pink salmon. I generally use um, pink tuna but I couldn't find them. So I'm using pink uh, chicken of the sea. And I've already deboned them. When you open the salmon up, you can open up and you'll see one bone that'll run through the middle of the salmon and just pick it out with your fork. And you just smash up the salmon until it's nice and flaky. And as you're smashing, you'll come to see more bones if you have not been able to take them all out. So all of the salmon has been successfully smashed and to the smashed salmon, we're going to add two, can two eggs. I'm going to use two eggs because I actually have two cans of salmon. So to the eggs, and we're going to add um, chopped scallions. And always look in my directions because I tend to cook for a larger group of people. So I always double my recipes. But when I write them, I'll write them out for one. And I'm going to add... Seafood seasoning, which is my very own from Lily Snooks. And this is seafood seasoning, ground black pepper, and dry parsley flakes. I'm experimenting with my Lazy Susie. Just try to see if it'll work and make life a little bit easier for me. I'm going to add all of this, and this is about two tablespoons. Then we're going to add onions, and this is one large onion that has been diced. And then again, with this mixture right here, we're going to add flour and baking soda. I'm sorry, baking powder. And to this, we're going to add three large potatoes. And we're just mixing this all up. You may want to add a little bit of salt. I, I tend to think the um, all the sea, seafood season, especially mine, because I know the level of salt that I put in it, it's enough for me. But if you use Obey, you may want to add a teaspoon of salt to it. And as you can see, it's coming together. And if you see any big lumps of potatoes, you can just take your fork and smash them down. And they are ready for the oil to be patted up into patties. Our grease is hot and we're ready to fry. Our salmon cakes, they have been patted into patties. And as you can see, you don't need a whole lot of grease. It doesn't have to flood it. And you just put them in. And we'll, you'll be able to see very soon, very quickly, whether you have enough flour to bind it because they'll start breaking apart if you don't. And I will admit it's been probably about a year since I've made salmon cakes. And they fry really fast, so you don't want to walk away. You don't want to go in another room. They fry really fast. And I have a pan ready that's um, that has tissue in it, so it'll catch the grease. So far, so good. They're not breaking apart, so I'm a mite bit excited. Our salmon cake are golden brown, nice and pretty, and they did not crumble. So that means I had enough flour and baking powder. And one thing I wanna show you, one thing that baking powder does to salmon and both card cakes, it gives them a light fluffy taste. That if you don't have it in, you'll know because you'll get more of a dense flavor. The flavor is much more dense without the baking powder. The leaven does to these cakes the same thing it does to a regular cake. Here it is. Hmm. 
Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Cooking with Mama T. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, share our channel with your friends, and click on the notification button so you'll be notified of many more episodes to come. Thank you.